Hey guys, I'm Dr. Bacon. Hope everyone's having a great day. I have this uh, towel sofa, which is also in the Tuzi. I've had it for 20 years. It's kind of going south. I've been putting leather protector on it, but that's kind of going bad. And now, most recently, it's really getting saggy. And one thing I really liked about this couch was its firmness, and it's gone. So I did a little homework, and we're going to try and repair it or make it so it's more comfortable and squeeze some more years out of it. I think this couch cost $4,000 in 2000. And I bought it with my first wife. We bought a house together and we splurged on the couch. And it's really served its purpose. I highly recommend them. I've had the bottom liner off several times and I've tried a couple temporary fixes. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I've done and see if we can make it better. So the first repair that was done to this couch was done maybe a year and a half ago and my roommate's very heavy friend came over and visited and he broke this fiberboard piece. It, uh, it broke. So I went back and I reinforced it and that reinforcements held up okay. And then more recently I literally stuffed a pillow under the webbing hoping to help things out and that was just kind of a fail so we're gonna get that pillow out of there and show you my plan so the factory did have some support here that had disappeared and the foam is now tearing from me having the pillow in but I'm just gonna move forward with this as it as it sits this is a $50 roll of high density foam I got off Amazon I'll put a link in the description and I expect it's going to expand a lot once I uh, cut it loose here yeah pretty much right about that <laughs> use the carpet knife with a fresh blade and just press down and cut right through it you could probably use a box cutter but you need something probably a little deeper than a box cutter Easy peasy, cut a second piece and shoved it in there. So it looks like we need about a 22 and 3 quarter by 29 inch piece of backing material. Let's see what we can find. Oh yeah, this will suffice nicely. That's the right price. Okay, that fit almost perfect, but it's now pressed up by the foam. And I had to take this one screw out. Uh, I could have notched the board, but I just took the screw out and then replaced it. So this is in here. Now we're gonna try to start some screws around the perimeter and work this thing um, down and compress that foam. Okay, now I've gone around and cinched everything tight. You don't want to leave stuff hanging from the screws. You want it pinched tight or it's going to creak and eventually fatigue your fasteners. So there's nothing in the center here, but all the perimeter is tacked down with about, say, like uh, 20 screws. Okay, second side is cinched up. Looks pretty good. Okay, cinched up good enough for me. How does it look? How does it feel? Well, our hole's gone. I mean, the leather is stretched, but it feels very nice. It is firm again. Um, is it a new couch? No, it's not a new couch. Any more than putting tires on a car would make it a new car. But does it feel like a new set of tires? Totally, totally. So I'm very happy with this and I can't wait to catch up on the news this evening on my reconditioned couch. 
Hey guys, I'm going to do the other side now, but it's going to be more of the same. I really do appreciate your um, interest and maybe you'll do this for your couch. Um, like I said, this is a 20 year old couch and it's going to be good for at least another five after this small, perhaps $100 investment. So take care, like and subscribe if that makes you happy. It makes me happy and have a super day. Bye.